Questions like this have been coming up more and more in recent years. Now I can say it's pretty much guaranteed in one of the papers. Let's have a look. It is a little bit tricky. The question says, make f the subject of the formula d is equal to three times by one minus f over f minus four. Now we can see that we have an f on the top and the bottom of our fraction. And that is a key hint that we're going to have to factorize towards the end of the question. Let me show you what I mean. So step number one, we don't like the fact that we have an f on the bottom of our fraction. So we're going to multiply both sides of our equation by f minus four to get rid of it on the bottom. So we're going to have d times by f minus four on the left hand side and that's going to be equal to and I'm also going to simplify the top of this fraction by expanding our brackets. So we're going to have three times by one that is going to be three and we're going to have three times by minus f we're going to have minus three f. Next step we're going to simplify again we're going to expand the brackets on the left hand side of our equation. So we're going to have d times by f which is going to be df and then we're going to have d times by minus 4, which is going to be minus 4d. And that's going to be equal to 3 minus 3f. Next step, what are we going to do? Well, we need to make f the subject. We need to get the f on its own. We're going to bring all of the f's onto one side of our equation and move all of our other things to the other side of the equation. So I'm going to copy down this df. And now I'm going to move this minus 3f to the left hand side of the equation. The way we're going to do that is we're going to plus 3f to both sides of the equation. Now I'm also going to move this minus 4d. So I'm going to plus 4d to both sides. On the right we're going to have 3 plus 4d. Next step, what are we going to do? We can see that we have a df and a 3f on the left hand side. Because one of them has a number attached to it and the other one has a letter attached, we can't actually bring these together. But what we can do to isolate our f is we can factorize. So we're going to factorize, pulling out a factor of f. We're going to have f times by. f times by d is going to be df, so it's going to be d plus. And then f times by 3 is going to be 3f, so we have d plus 3. On the right hand side, we're going to have 3 plus 4d. Final step to get our f on its own. What are we going to do, guys? We're going to divide both sides by d plus 3. So we're going to be left with f is equal to 3 plus 4d over d plus 3. And that is going to be our final answer. Now f is the subject. Why? Because we have f equals 3 plus 4d over d plus 3.